New from the I-Team tonight, suspected drunk drivers in some metro counties are getting a rude surprise when they refuse a breathalyzer test. Yeah, instead of taking no for an answer, officers now obtain a search warrant to forcibly draw blood and get evidence for the case. The key word there, of course, forcibly. Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis here now with the video you have got to see. Randy, it is I think everybody would agree that this is disturbing video, mm -hmm. Russ and Lisa. Each year, drunk drivers kill more Americans than the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. It is often a tragic, preventable crime that frustrates law enforcement. That's why some say what you're about to see in Gwinnett County is justified when a DUI suspect declines to cooperate. Are you serious? I've never been raped by rat. This is so unnecessary. No! Yeah. Excuse me, hold on. I never fought nobody. I never, I didn't never do nothing. No. What the hell is y'all doing? What they're doing at the Gwinnett County Jail is strapping down suspected drunk drivers to a gurney so a nurse can take their blood. Evidence that can be used against them later in court, even though the suspects refuse to give their consent. What country is this? What country is this? David Boyle is a former Gwinnett prosecutor, now defense attorney. Holding down and uh, forcing someone to submit to this is really intrusive in terms of that that, that level of uh, invasive procedure into somebody's body is ridiculous um, for investigating a misdemeanor. Intrusive, certainly. Invasive, you bet. But legal, yes, say authorities, even though the law supposedly gives you a choice. To get a Georgia driver's license, you have to agree to take a state-administered test, like this Intoxilizer 5000, if an officer suspects you've been drinking and driving. It's called implied consent. You can refuse, but if you do, you lose your license for a year. Plus, that decision can be used as evidence against you when you go to trial. Still, a growing number of DUI defense attorneys suggest you should say no to the test if you've been drinking. In fact, many advise refusing all field sobriety tests, claiming you're simply helping the police manufacture evidence against you. And a one-year suspension might be preferable to having a drunk driving conviction on your record. Veteran lawmen like Douglas County Sheriff Phil Miller admit that strategy has made their job tougher. If you're drunk, and you're driving a vehicle, I'm going to try to put you in jail. In Douglas County, more people die from DUI accidents than murders. So three years ago, authorities there tried something new. Or you take the state breath test and we'll get up to the office. Every time a DUI suspect refuses to take a breath test, Douglas County deputies get a search warrant to draw their blood. For every DUI stop, even if there's no accident or injury. Gathering the blood, that's the best way I know of to prove if somebody's either not DUI or DUI, and it is what it is. If they're not guilty, they're not guilty. If they're guilty, they've got to face the consequences. And I don't see anything wrong with that. If you're going to take their blood anyway, why give them a choice? Well, uh, the, the, the law requires us to give them a choice. The sheriff says mandatory blood tests have also helped their conviction rate. This man refused the breath test, but the forced blood draw showed he was legally impaired at 0.16, twice the limit. He pled guilty. A lot in Douglas County are doing the same. I would much rather that message get to these people than the message is if they stop you, don't take a test. The police will manufacture evidence against you. That's a bald-faced lie. Randy, and uh, you ought not tell it. Instead, Douglas County now encourages other departments around the state to adopt their no refusals policy. In January, Gwinnett County's DUI task force started forced blood draws, but with one big difference from Douglas County. We all are, are American citizens, and you guys got me strapped to a tanker like I'm in one time old bag. At the Gwinnett County Jail, every forced blood draw begins with strapping down the suspect on a padded table and putting them in a head grasp every time, whether they're compliant or complaining. We can't take the chance that you're not going to lose your emotional control during a, a situation that is so sensitive. And it's not just male DUI suspects. This woman eventually pled no contest. Another is still waiting for her day in court. Both showed no resistance, but deputies still strapped them down. I mean, is there any concern that this just doesn't look good? You know, I, I understand perception, but the reality of that perception is we work in an environment to where experience has shown us that you can play Russian roulette if you want to, but it's going to catch up to you. 
They told me I'm arrested. They're taking my blood without my consent. Michael Chororsky's only DUI arrest turned into the worst night of his life. He's yet to go to trial and says he's not guilty. There was no accident. There was no accident. Did anybody get hurt? No one was hurt in, in my stop at all. I'm a taxpaying American who refused something. Regardless of what happens after the fact, I refuse to do this. I'm not fighting you, dude. Don't push me too hard. I'm not fighting you. Drunk driving, and um, it ruins lives. It hurts families. It hurts people. And um, it's, you know, it has to be police. I understand the police have a job to do, but what happened to me in that room was unnecessary. And... And I, nobody should have to do that. But a state law passed in 2006 allows police to ask a magistrate for a search warrant for blood in any DUI case. Since January, Gwinnett authorities have done forced blood draws more than 100 times. You're being served with a search warrant for two vials of your blood that you're going to take now. The practical application of that, of terms of forcing people down and holding them to, you know, to stick a needle in their arm to get it, I think it's just an unreasonable search of those people. Another showdown between personal liberty and public safety. There's hardly anybody that you can talk to that doesn't know somebody that was killed by a drunk driver. We ought to do something about that, don't, don't you think? Again, Douglas County does not restrain DUI suspects the way Gwinnett County does. Sheriff Miller was not critical of Gwinnett, but said he likes to treat people the way he would want to be treated. Those in charge in Gwinnett, though, say that uh, they make more DUI cases than the folks in Douglas County, and even the most compliant suspect they fear might seize up somewhere during the removal of their blood. Mm. They just worry about them because, after all, the reason they're there is because they didn't cooperate in the first place. Yeah, drinking and driving a very serious matter, but we were all right. sitting there looking at that video just taken mm. aback by it all. How often do the blood tests clear someone? Not very often, mm -hmm. at least not in the data that we looked at uh, in, the, in Douglas County, not very often at all. But remember, you know, when you refuse to take the test, there is a punishment for that. Mm -hmm. 12 months, you lose your license for 12 months. And, you know, the law, though, says if you refuse, you, no test shall be given. It actually says it in the law, no test shall be given if you refuse. But then it comes back later and says that the police can still get a search warrant to draw your blood. Mm -hmm. So is it a conflict? Sounds like it could be. The state appellate court will soon, I understand, take up this issue. Mm. Well, uh, you know, the Fourth Amendment protects us from unreasonable search and seizure. So the, I, I guess the question is, what's unreasonable? And honestly, I'm stunned. I did not know that this was legal. I, I did not know that they could take your blood without mm -hmm. your consent. They can take it without your consent as long as they have a search warrant. If they don't have a search warrant, the Supreme Court has said they can't. Mm -hmm. But these are all forced blood draws with the consent of a judge. All right. Stunned to see it happening there right before our eyes. Thanks. Thanks.